Well, my name is Mark Molinaro. I'm the chef lecturer at Northern Arizona University's uh, Frankie College of Business School of Hotel Restaurant Management, and I'm very excited to be here. Uh, I came here from Vermont, and I was excited about NAU, a larger community, um, and when I did my research, very student-centered. And that, that struck with me perfectly, because that's why I'm here. Um, I want to share my past 20 plus years of service with students. I want to be able to find out what are you curious about? Where do you want to go? Um, how can I help get you there with either my experiences, my skills, or my networking? So originally I was working with Chef Don and looking at his course and I loved it. It was great solid stuff and he and I hit it off like, like two people of the same cloth. It was like we had a lot of the same kind of war stories and a lot of similar background with, you know, he's from the East Coast, so we're talking about East Coast restaurants and food and things like that, and he's classically trained, and I was classically trained, so we're talking a lot about fundamentals and things that um, he felt were important for this group of students as they head out and become leaders in the industry, and so I took all that information and advice and took my experience with uh, technology, and I kind of, I'm, my hope is to build this really rich, dynamic class that's going to be a blended and flipped class. So I spent the summer working on uh, an online, heavy online um, uploading of information for students before they come to class. And I just took this term right from the kitchen called mise en place, which means everything in its place. And I want, my hope is that, you know, I, I look at, the, we have two hours in this kitchen two precious hours for each class. And I didn't want to spend any more time than I needed to lecturing. Another thing, I, my, a goal that I have for this kitchen is to basically let it be an expression of the chef's office. For example, uh, we have all the refrigerator logs, um, cooling logs, receiving logs, um, refrigerator temperature, everything that you, a chef, or a sous chef would do in a kitchen, as far as management, we have it so the students can see it. Uh, because part of the goal is not just to, you know, we're gonna do a survey of cooking. We're gonna touch on a lot of stuff, we're not gonna go in a lot of depth, but we're gonna see a lot of things. It's gonna be like a high, high speed tourist of the kitchen and cooking, but we're also gonna be looking at um, fundamentals of kitchen management. How do you clean a kitchen? How do you assess whether something's clean or not? How can you assess your staff to see if they're healthy and that the morale is good? Because a lot of the students that come here are going to be general managers or F&B directors or you know, high level leaders. So they may not necessarily need all the skills of how to cook, but they're really going to need to know best practice for staffing, for organization. Is this, is this how an organized kitchen looks? How does work flow? How do you order something for uh, an event that's cost effective? How can they make more profitable decisions? That's what I want to equip them with, is how, to, how can you make more profitable management decisions? Not just the cooking aspect of it. A lot of people will say even like, well, don't order that, it's so expensive. Like foie gras, I hear that a lot. Don't, why do you order foie gras, it's so expensive. Well, something's only expensive if you don't charge enough for it. And that's what I really want students to understand is, it doesn't matter how much things cost. It's really, can you get the price you need to make money off of it? That's, that's really where the decision is. Maybe you don't purchase that. Maybe you can't. So then what is your alternative? And it's that choice building that I think they want to, I want to do my best to plan well enough ahead to allow for student involvement in the course. So things that are, I want to get the students' ideas on are like, what are you curious about? What do you want to learn? Let's fit that in there. You want to learn more about sausage making? Let's, let's create space within our class to, to do that. Um, you want to learn more about uh, the history of the uniform and the, the, how we got to this, the food systems? Maybe you're really into sustainability. And you want to understand from a kitchen perspective, what does that mean? And what are modern kitchens doing nowadays? We can build room for that in there. So that's what I'm really excited and curious about from the student perspective is, what do you want to know? Do you want to feel what it's like to be a cook in a kitchen and really embrace that so that when you go in your future role and you go talk to a chef, you have some 
experience to come at that chef with and build relationships, because that's what it's going to take. When a GM and a chef or an F&B director and a chef talk, they have to be relating to each other. They have to have some kind of language that they use and some ex shared experiences. Um, so how far do the students want to take it? I, I'm, I'm, I want to you know, engage with them. I want to know what you want to we know. We can get some classical nice coats and jackets and hats in here and be really professional and really upscale everything if you want. So We'll see. I'm really excited next week when classes start and uh, find out who these young gentlemen and ladies are and, and how I can help them get uh, to where they want to go.